All right, so we're going to go over the DC's November 2022's solicitations. So last month was full of Batman books. I don't expect that to change anytime soon because that's how they're making money. So first off, we have Mark Silvestri bringing the Batman and the Joker together. So this book runs you around $5. So we have the first issue released. Then we have the second issue also released for the first week of... Um, December. So even though it's one is released in November, the first week, the second book is released in December. They're soliciting both issues at the same time, you know, because they it seems like a marketing tactic on their part to get as much money as possible up front. So you know, okay, we don't know what the first or second issue is about, but we have to collect them. So that means we have to collect all of the five covers. So right now, um, this will run you about 10 bucks. So collecting all seven issues will run you around uh, $35. So of course, when the trade paperback comes out, it'll be much lower, much, much lower than that. Probably around $24.99 for those pages. All right. So next up, we have the Batman series, uh, 129 that also runs you around like five dollars so this is just an ordinary story it's a two they have um, a backup story along with it so nothing interesting there unless you collected issue um you're following the storyline from one um 125 and above okay so also again two issues the first one's released in december as well so Again, for Batman and the Joker, as well as the Batman series, they're releasing both those issues at the same time, just to get the money up front. Next up, we have the Batman and Spawn uh, classic collection. So this is the um, two issues that was released, I think, back in 93 or 94. I think 94. So they're collecting both those um, issues. Uh, most likely, I'm not going, I'm going to skip this. I'm going to wait until the third book comes out, which is going to be released in December by Todd McFarlane and Greg Capullo. They're releasing a Batman Spawn crossover. So I think that's going to be an interesting book to pick up. Okay. Next up, we have One Bad Day. They released, already released a Riddler, and that was a very good storyline by Tom King. So we have another uh, one bad day, but this is one with Mr. Freeze. So the first issue, I mean, each of the issues have different writers. I think this is something to probably pick up. But again, each of the books is standalone. So we'll see where it goes from this one. I'm just waiting for the Penguin to come out and then see how that story takes place. All right, next up, we have uh, The New Golden Age by Jeff Johns. So... um He's releasing three books this month, which we'll get into, but this takes place after the after aftermath of Flash um, Point Beyond number six. So after Flashpoint Beyond number six, which was solicited last month, he's breaking out to three different stories where it brings back the Justice Society of America. So this is the new Golden Age, this is the one shot series that's being released, which will subsequently bring the other two books so we have the new golden age and next up we have the justice society of america so jeff johns is coming back and writing these stories again so again if you enjoyed the first uh jsa from jeff johns you're probably going to develop this uh some time has passed since he wrote the book but we'll see where it goes but for me this is not something that's interesting to pick up Right now, uh, we have the Star Girl, the Lost Children. It's a limited series. Uh, we we have Blue Beetle uh, Graduation Day, so this is coming up. Uh, again, nothing really interesting. We have Wildcats number one, so Wildstorm is coming back uh, to DC. But again, I think the Wildcats and some of the image books from Jim Lee, it's better soft, better served if it's in its own universe instead of merging with the DC. I, I don't think that's necessary. I think Flashpoint around um, over 10 years ago was a mistake of bringing the Wildstorm universe into the DC universe. 
it would have been best served if it was separate because it becomes a little bit overcrowded. Yeah. With the Wildcats. All right. We have Waller versus Wildstorm. So they're making a huge effort to bring these characters into the DC universe. Again, it's already crowded as it is. So how much impact is going to take place? That's my concern. It's going to affect the story. We have the Wildstorm Storm 30th anniversary special. Again, majority of this is reprints from five years ago from the Wildstorm celebration. So again, it's, it, they're not putting much effort into this DC. They're just, you know, giving you the same thing, but in a different package. Uh, Superman Kale returns the Earth special. Again, this is coming off from everything from before. But I think what should be interesting is what happens in Action Comics 1050. Which should be released uh, next month. So we'll see what happens. So John Stewart, Emerald Knight. This is a one-shot series that's coming up. Again, not really interested because there's not much happening in Green Lantern books. Uh, Dark Crisis of Infinite Earths number six. This is the, um, one issue before the final issue. It's releasing in December. So again, a lot of things that's happening. I'd rather wait till January to pick up the DC books to see what they have going for them. This is not interesting for me. So, and we have the Dark Crisis, Dark Army. This is like crossover. Again, this is like six bucks. Uh, this is five bucks. So it's already 11 bucks now. And adding a little bit more, you have another six bucks. So it's like $17 to collect all these issues. You know? And you have another book. It's five. So it's like $22. Right now it's building up. Okay, more. Another five bucks to add. So it's like, I think, $27 right now. So they're just milking this at this point. Deceased War of the Undead Gods this is a limited series. So this is going to cap up the deceased um, series of books. Okay. So we have the fourth issue which is released in november and the fifth issue is released in december again um they're trying to print this up before december rolls about so again not really interested i think just dc's trying to milk as much as they can before december get that christmas money together so we have batman versus robin it was just released we have a Nightwing annual again. Nothing much here. The Batgirl annual, and then you have the DC Comics annual. Again, these are like six bucks a piece. Um, I don't know how much effect that these annuals are going to have in the long term, but we'll see w what happens. Again, I don't expect anything new. New uh, in the Just League special. Again, this is just like they're just milking out six bucks for these one shots. So you have a, another reprint, facsimile edition by Wonder Woman. Again, not really interesting. So Wonder Woman is heading towards 800. So I think as we get closer to 800, I think it should be interesting how DC is handling that because it's going to come after Dark Crisis and all these event books are over. So We'll see. I'm looking forward to that part. Um, Grifter got run over by a reindeer. Again, another Wildstorm book. They're still putting out this book from there with Wildstorm. Again, we'll see what happens. Again, this is just, they're just trying to milk out like 10 bucks, six bucks, as much as they can. So this is uh, another facsimile edition. This is a reprint of Superman 75. This runs around four bucks. A few years ago, there was a dollar book of Superman 75. So I have like, I think the 10 issues of those, th which I can hand out to people. Right. But again, this is, an this is another reprint. I don't see anything really special about DC going forward towards the end of the year, right? Another reprint that we have facsimile, introduction to Robin. Another Brave and Bro Bold uh, reprint of the Justice League. Okay, Tom King's hardcover edition of Batman and Catwoman. Runs you around like 40 bucks. I think I'll wait for the hard cart, um, soft cover. And then you have the soft cover edition of Rorschach. 
So, um, this is t collecting 12 issues. So, I think if you're a fan of Watchmen, I think this should be a book to pick up. All right. Killing Time, this is a limited series that was released by DC. Hardcover, 30 bucks. Again, not really interested in this. Another Tom King limited series by Strange Adventures, 30 bucks. All right. Again, DC is just getting as much money as possible for these books. Okay. We have the Omnibus of um, Dark Knight's Metal, which is around like $125. Um, available in January. Again, if you're a fan, pick it up. Otherwise, just skip it. Action Comics uh, 1049. This is when Kal El returns. So. Again, nothing really interesting. I'm more interested in the next issue coming up in December. See where that heads towards in the future. Batgirls number 12. Batman Nightwatch number 3. Another Batman series. Again, they're releasing number 3 and number 4. One is released in November. The other one's released in December. Right. Batman Incorporated. The second issue is released. Batman Force. Uh, Fortress, this is a um, limited series. Batman Superman World's Finest. And a lot of Batman books. Batman Gotham Knights. Batman Audio Adventures. Batman Urban Legends. Batman Urban Legends again. So this issue is released in November. The other one's released in December. Uh, and they're just milking it for the month of November before the Christmas um, season hits and people are cutting back. So this is um, Black Adam number six. Limit series. Catwoman number 49. 50 is coming out next in December. So it could be something. See what happens after that. Either they're going to end or they're going to reboot everything in January. Dark Knights number eight. Sergeant Rock and the Army of the Dead. DC versus Vampires. Again, this is something where DC is coming out with like different ideas to see what sticks. DC Mecha. Dark Knights. Um, I'm sorry. Deathstroke Incorporated number 15. And yeah, nothing really interesting that I see. So Detective Comics uh, 1066 is released. Again, they're taking more of a spiritual aspect of Detective Comics here. Fables, well, 157. If you're still collecting Fables, then this is something you're picking up. GCPD. And this is a Batman book. Gotham City, another Batman book. Gotham City Year One. So issue number two is released in November. Issue number three is released in December. You know, they want that Christmas money, DC. All right, Harley Quinn 24, released in November. 25 is coming up. So we have uh, Harley Quinn number 25, Catwoman number 50, and we have Action Comics 1050 coming up in December. So, and also the end of um, Dark Knights, I mean, Dark Crisis of Infinite Earths in december so, so a lot of things are happening in december so it could pave the way for what's coming up in january i think there's i don't know i think it's, we're going back to like first issues again i think this is the only way that dc can milk you out of more money i am batman number 15. this is going to be a dark crisis tie-in okay got looney tunes mad magazine Monkey Prince, not interested. Number nine, again, they're releasing, they're doing the same thing, getting your money up front before the Christmas season starts. Okay, Multiversity, Teen Justice, number six, Nightwing, number 98. So that means in January, we're going to see Nightwing, number 100 coming up. Okay, Poison Ivy, six and seven. Again, they're just releasing like two issues of this punchline, the Gotham game. Number um, two, Static. 
So again, you have two issues for Static, two and number three, released in December. Got a lot of issues being released, but they're offered in different months. Okay, Superman, Son of Kal-El. This is part four of Kal-El Returns. You have Superman, the Space Age number three. This is the final issue of the limited series. Sword of Azrael. Number four and five. Again, one's shipped in November. The other one's shipped in December. I still don't know why they're doing this, but again, it's just to milk you out of your money. Okay, Flash 788. So another 12 months from now, we're probably going to get... um. Or less than that, we're going to get um, Flash 800. Okay. Flash, the fastest man alive. Number three, this is a tie into the Flashpoint movie that's going to be released next year. Human Target number nine, right? By Tom King. Okay, The Joker. Number two. Okay, we've got two and three coming up. So one's released in November, the other one's released in December. The new champion of um, Shazam. That's coming up. Okay. The nice house on the lake this is the final issue. Tim Drake Robin. Again, I don't know why there is a Robin, another Robin series. Uh, Titans United, Blood Pack number three. Young Justice 5. Wow, there's nothing really interesting DC in November. So we have the Omnibus from Patrick Gleason. Neil Ab Adams, Batman vs. Rachel Ghoul. And this is the, like all the trades that are coming up being solicited for November. So again, it doesn't seem much interesting in regards to DC for the month of November. I think they're just rehashing and then trying to get as much money as front as possible before the Christmas season starts and your budget becomes limited. So again, I'm not really interested in DC at this point until I find out what happens after uh, Dark Crisis number 7. I think January is going to be a big month for DC after December and we're going to see what 2023 brings. So if 2023, if everyone starts with the first issues, it could be a great starting point or it could be a disaster but we'll see what happens. But again this is my takeaway in regards to DC. I'm just waiting till January comes and see what the next years of DC Comics is going to be. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be something that's going to flop midway in May. All right, so that's it. I'll see you guys next month.